a meadow park and ride over here in Katati. I'm gonna because I'm waiting to hear from my friend about getting Queenie back. A cop pulls up, but he doesn't pull up next to me. He doesn't pull up right behind me. He parks. I'll show you real quick. So the far lines. That's where he pulled up. All of a sudden I see a flashlight in my side in my side view mirror. So I saw he didn't have a mask on, I put a mask on. He puts his mask on, a disposable one, that's fine, whatever. My keys were not in the ignition. I have Bell sleeping next to me in the front seat. We're in the front seat, mind you. And then I have to roll down my window. I was gonna get out, but he was already there and I'm not, you don't ever approach a cop, right? So I took the keys, put him in the ignition, rolled down the window, took the keys out because the beeping noise gets really annoying. I wasn't driving. He's like, oh, you know, you know, you can't camp here. I'm like, oh, I, oh, I thought I saw a sign like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm not going to camp though. He's like, well, what are you doing here? I'm like, I'm just hanging out, waiting for my friend to text me. And then he says, oh, well, I don't recognize you. Can I see your ID? I'm like, no, thank you. I'm not driving. And I explained it to him. My keys are not in ignition. I was not driving. There's no reason to pull me over. Well, do you have any, do you have a, are you on probation or parole? I'm like, as far as I know, no. But there's no reason to investigate that because I'm not being suspicious of anything, which is illegal. I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm in a park and ride. And I asked him, technically, how long can I be here? And he says, well, technically be here as long as you want. It's a park and ride. You just can't camp. So if I was high on meth, I can hang out in this parking lot all night long and not get in trouble. But just no camping, so no sleeping. So I'm not going to stay here all night, but I can stay here as long as I want. So park and rides are a place where you can hang out, mm -hmm. just don't camp. So I'll find somewhere else. I'll find a dirt road somewhere else. I'll go camp at until I get a text saying, come get Queenie. Anyways, this is Scott with Effective Dog telling you to understand your rights. I could have given him my ID, but there's no reason to give him my ID. I did not ask for his. He did not introduce himself. I had to identify. I saw a uniform, but you have rights. And yes, I understand there's many races that don't get to voice those. I am white and I am going to voice those. That is a privilege I have and I'm going to use it. Because the more they understand that people do understand their rights, maybe they will either change the constitution or they will start respecting more people's rights. This is Scott with Effective Dog, your traveling dog trainer. You do have rights, constitutional rights. You can sit in your car and not be a suspect. I didn't get shot. Many people have gotten shot for sitting in their car. Am I lucky? No, I'm privileged. He didn't want to make a big deal out of it. Either did I. There was no big deal. There was no laws broken. He didn't recognize me. I don't know of any cop that goes to every single neighbor and goes, oh, you're new to the neighborhood. Can I run your ID? Think about it. This is Scott with Effective Dog. Have a great night. Stay safe. Know your rights. And if you are able to practice them, you are white. Practice your rights. So when it comes time for others, they're not scared that they're going to die. Please. Don't just hand over everything to the cops because they ask. That's not what the Constitution was for.